Hey there, French horn players. It's Mrs. Tosh Morelli here to help you with your F scale. All right, so we've been working for a while on the lower notes in our scale, and we are ready to move up to do an entire octave or eight notes. We already know F, G, A, B flat, C, and we're moving to add D and E, which is a high note here, and F, the very highest note in your F scale. Your scale goes from F to high F. In the back of your book, on the inside of the back cover, is the French horn fingering chart. Now, some of you have a single horn, and some of you have a double horn. The way that you can tell the difference is because a double horn has a key for your thumb, okay? If you have a single horn, just like mine, you only have three valves for your fingers. The double horn, you have the three valves for your fingers and you have one for your thumb. Now, some of our fingerings, as we get into these higher notes, are different for single horn and double horn. So it's best to check in the book for your fingering. The single horn fingerings are on the top and the double horn fingerings are underneath of it in parentheses. That means you're gonna push your thumb and the fingerings. So for instance, we're gonna look here at the high D. If you have a single horn, you're gonna play that with no fingers. If you have a double horn, you're gonna play that with thumb one, two. Okay, so it's important to go over your fingerings before you attempt to play the entire scale. What else is important is that you know what the scale is supposed to sound like. So there's our F. We can sing the scale a couple of different ways. One, we can sing it with our letter names. Two, we can sing it with what we call solfege, which is uh, different words that we use. You may have used this in your music class. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Now we're going to sing it with our letters F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E. It's really high up there. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and go back and sing with the letters and do the fingerings that are right for your horn. Okay, now we're ready to play it together. Let's get our F. Once you get all the way up there and you can play the entire scale, work on starting at the top of the scale and playing the notes backwards, making sure to listen to make sure that your notes are going in order and that they also sound like they're going in order. All right, practice every day and I'll see you at your next lesson.